Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at Arch Labs 4. Now I have been uh, wanting to try Arch Labs 4 for quite a long time and the reason I was not able to is because for some reason I had as I mentioned in the past I have been using Ubuntu Mate as my daily driver and so that was controlling the boot process on my SSD and so I really didn't want to mess with that because I had Ubuntu Mate set up the way I wanted it but every time I would try to install Arch Labs 4 the ISO file would run from my USB and I was able to go through the installation process without any problem however when I elected not to install Grub uh, and it finished the installation when I rebooted and I went into Ubuntu Mate and ran OS Prober and update Grub it was uh, it would not boot from Arch Labs 4 um, it would show as available in the Grub screen uh, but it would not boot properly so then I did a reinstall and I elected to install grub to the root petition and that didn't work either and so I um, was never able to take a, a, a look at Arch Labs 4 now this that procedure that I use where I either don't install grub or install it to the root petition works with pretty much every other distro now that issue did come up in the past with OB Revenge and Jody was able to make some changes and that eliminated that so uh, and I use the same procedure when I use an installer like Feliz or Jody's installer the Revenge installer or um, when I used to use Architect I would just elect not to install Grub or to install it to the root petition and everything would normally go fine but don't want to beat a dead horse but um, it would not work properly within Arch Labs and so I pretty much gave up on it but the other day I decided well uh, let's go ahead and format my SSD and do a fresh install using the entire disk um, and do a fresh install of Arch Labs 4 which is what I did and that's how I ended up at this install now this is the uh, Arch Labs 4 um, I haven't really done a whole lot to it other than load up GUVC view and simple screen recorder uh, I, I still have a few issues and I'm going to review them not to criticize but to provide feedback to the developers I know they're interested in getting some of these issues resolved so the first issue is <clears throat> and it's not a deal breaker but it caused a few problems and it really would be a problem for a, a, a relatively new user when I did the install and I elected to go with the full disk install option uh, when I booted it would not uh, boot I, I had a feeling it was the NVIDIA driver and so what I did was I installed and and I don't believe Arch Labs recognizes or installs at the NVIDIA driver at the beginning uh, automatically because I basically got to a prompt a root prompt and I installed Nvidia and Nvidia utils and once I rebooted it recognized my Nvidia driver and I I was good to go so a new user probably wouldn't be able to figure that out but nevertheless um, that's one issue 
and that would be uh, recognize NVIDIA and install the drivers uh, automatically. Now if I install Manjaro, Manjaro does that uh, without, without fail. So I do know that it is possible. Um, the other issue that I have with Arch Labs 4 is that when it installs, it automatically installs the latest kernel. Now ordinarily that wouldn't be a problem, but it is a problem for me at this point, and I'll tell you why. My Realtek Wi-Fi driver does not work currently under the latest kernel. And so when I when I boot uh, and I go to install that driver it gives me an error message. Uh, and I'll sh I'll see if I can replicate that. Um, And that's the RTL 8812AU driver. Now, if I pull that in, you can see it's installed, which is number six. So if I do a reinstall, uh, it gives me an error message. And normally, when I install this driver, uh, I have to install the, the, the appropriate headers. So now it's installing the DKMS modules. And you can see it says with the 411.2-1 Arch kernel, bad return status for module build. And, <clears throat> and it tells me to consult a log for more information. So basically it's not working properly with the newest kernel but I know it does work properly with the, with the long-term support kernel or even if I go backwards to the 410 kernel uh, so what I did was I tried to install the long-term support kernel and I was able to install the kernel and I ran OS Prober and I updated my grub <clears throat> and when I reboot Arch Labs 4 and I select the long-term support kernel it should boot right into it but it does not. It hangs the boot hangs from the long-term support kernel um, at started hostname service. So when I reboot and I go back to the latest kernel, everything runs as you can see. However, I don't have, it will not load the driver for my Realtek Wi-Fi. So right now I am using uh, my Qualcomm I've got a another a I'm using my wired connection Ethernet and I was able to plug in an older Wi-Fi dongle that is re pretty much recognized across the board but the Realtek driver is not recognized so that's an issue it's not a, an Arch Labs 4 issue. It's an, an Arch Linux issue with the latest kernel not supporting the RTL 8812 and 8821 driver. And that's RTL 8812AU, RTL 8821AU. That normally worked fine in the past. So that is issue number two. And again, it's not really an Arch Labs issue. Um, it's more an Arch kernel issue. 
Okay, now the other issue that I had is that when I boot, the system tries to update. And it hangs there and puts the lock file. Um, if I go into, it's you won't see it now, but if I go into var lib pacman, there'll be a lock file here and when I when I try to update it won't update it says pacman is busy uh, so I had to let it finish its thing which takes forever and then I had to disable updates in PAMAC AUR uh, so now I don't have the little icon loading in my system tray and it's not trying to update which doesn't put the lock file in so that pretty much solves the issue but that means that I need to update manually and that's not a big deal uh, it will update manually So that's about that's about it. Now, those are the issues that I have. Again, I'm not doing it from a negative standpoint. I'm doing it to try to help the developers, letting them know that some issues exist. Now, to focus on the positives, I enjoy using OpenBox. So I I like the speed of the system. I like the aesthetics of the system. It's got a good look to it. Quite a few wallpapers. Tint 2 is pretty easy to configure. No issues there at all. Um, I did change the icons to Fianza. And I did run uh, OB menu update with icons. and But not all of the icons populate. As you can see. Some of them do, some of them don't. Not a big deal. Really no no problem at all. I mean, that's just an aesthetics issue. Um, I could just as easily run it without icons. The system itself runs fine. If I open up a terminal, you can see I'm running the 411.2-1. Uh, if I run HTOP, my load average because of the video is 1.07 um, 3.2 gigs of RAM not using swap at all although it did create an 8 gigabyte swap file or swap petition when I uh, did the install so all in all uh, I do like the distribution I am going it is my a daily driver right now I'm gonna use it I'll you know I'll post up if I see anything unusual but right now everything is running fine uh, no issues at all uh, except the ones that I mentioned so guys that is a, a quick look at Arch Labs 4 overall I really like the distribution I'm a big fan of open box uh, other than the issues that I mentioned, everything works fine. So uh, I'll keep you updated on this, but it is going to be my daily driver for the time being. Now, the drive that I installed this on, it is the controlling distribution, uh, but I plan on, since it is a 480 gig uh, SSD, I do plan on adding a few more distributions, and I'll be doing a few videos on those distributions in the next few days. Uh, a personal note, I am feeling uh, much better and so I do plan on doing videos on more of a regular basis um, and I also will probably do some live streams, uh, maybe some gaming, uh, maybe just uh, taking a look at distributions and answering questions and just getting together and being able to chat with you guys. So guys, that is it for this video. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. 
Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.